WSYR TV. This is News Channel 9. Good evening and thanks for joining us for your weekend update. I'm Nicole Samavilla and we begin tonight with a health alert. A boil water order in the town of DeWitt remains in effect. It doesn't impact the entire town. Some neighbors are told not to drink the tap water without boiling it for a full minute to kill bacteria. The health department will be testing for coliform bacteria through the weekend and will update us when that order is lifted. A memorial was unveiled today for the 20 people killed in the town of Schoharie limo accident. It happened nearly a year ago. Family members and first responders got a private first look at the memorial. It features 20 stones. Each one has a plaque with the name of someone killed. 17 passengers, including four sisters, were on a birthday outing when that limo crashed. The driver and two pedestrians were also killed. The operator of the limo has pleaded not guilty to criminally negligent homicide and is scheduled to go on trial next year. It's almost time to rev up those engines. We're closing in on Super Dirt Week. Oswego is filled with banners and checkered flags all along State Route 104 and around downtown. It'll be the fourth year it's happening in the port city. The campgrounds open tomorrow and cars will be on the track Wednesday. Racing runs from October 9th through the 13th. And going ghost mode, Google Maps will now allow you to turn off location tracking temporarily, what they're calling an incognito mode. The feature is available on Android devices now. It will soon be coming to Apple. Essentially, it will allow you to cut down on recording where you're going or where you've been. But Google says don't assume it makes your movements untraceable. It does not affect how other apps track your activity. Chief Meteorologist Jim Teske in with us tonight. Jim, how's it looking? Well, Nicole, not as cool as last night. Uh, we had frost widespread across the area. High pressure now moving to the east. Clouds are coming in and also the breeze will increase. So as uh, we take a look at the temperatures for tonight, instead of frost, I think temperatures will drop quickly into the 40s this evening, maybe even low 40s east of Syracuse. But then those temperatures will rise overnight as the breeze and the clouds pick up. Tomorrow, milder day and breezy as well. Some scattered showers. There will be some rain-free periods as well, especially in the morning. Monday, we start the day with rain tapering off to the afternoon, 57 the high, and then a nice stretch of weather Tuesday through Friday. Just got to keep an eye on the area of low pressure off the east coast. Right now, it looks like it's too far east to impact our weather. Next best chance for precipitation after that would come Saturday. We've got some showers with a cold front. Highs will be in the low 60s.